So we know NVIDIA won't be releasing a graphics card anytime soon. But what about AMD? Well, they've actually got Vega 2 in the works. And to be honest with you, at 7 nanometers, it's going to be pretty interesting. Now let's take a moment to look at the fact that NVIDIA feels so confident in their current graphics card lineup, they were willing to skip a year just to let AMD catch up because they're kind of raking in the profits from cryptocurrency. But let's take a moment to look at the fact that AMD pulling a 7 nanometer for their next gen um, graphics card lineup this year, I personally feel like that will be some pretty interesting stuff. First of all, if you don't know what shrinking the die size pretty much does, it increases a lot of performance, uh, decreases power consumption, and just makes things better. Simple, simple, in simple words, I guess. But my point being is, if you're sitting there, you know, watching this video, and you want to know, hmm, I wonder if it is you know, logical to go through and, you know, be waiting on these graphics cards, you know, for the performance they're going to bring. To be honest with you, it's going to be coming pretty close to AM, or from, to NVIDIA. Sorry, it's late tonight. And it's going to be coming pretty close to NVIDIA in the sense that I wouldn't be surprised to be seeing something where we actually see graphics cards now competing with the 1080 Ti and actually getting a little bit more competition in the graphics card market. If you don't know, the previous generation of Vega was actually not necessarily a big game changer compared to what uh, AM or NVIDIA, uh, I'm sorry if I'm mixing these up, AMD's previous cards were not really a big game changer to uh, NVIDIA. So the current Tati had, long story short, last summer, um, actually same time last year, I was thinking about, I was pretty much buying parts and I got the 1080 Ti. I didn't know, you know, I, was, I wasn't really feeling like waiting for Vega, so I was just got the 1080 Ti. So Vega comes out in August, and it's about a 10, 1080, and it's nothing really high end, and it still costs more than this 1080 Ti back here. So, you know, we're sitting here, and it's still the HPM2 is expensive. Um, the just it's it's expensive and unnecessarily power like it's not really competing with this. And so there's a lot of problems with that. Now, if we look at what this can offer, it can offer performance, uh, better clock speeds, better performance, things like that, um, even better than this 1080 Ti, hopefully can, just by shrinking the die size if done you know, correctly and adding some you know, special memory in there. So my point being is this die, this die size shrinking will offer us even more better performance than we can get out of a 1080 Ti and even better than we can, you know, do currently with, you know, any car on the market. I feel like there's just a much better situation out there now that people that are looking to buy graphics cards at least will have another option. I mean, yes, the Vegas are kind of like a workstation kind of graphics card, uh, low end, I guess, but it is still a workstation. I mean, Apple wanted to put it in there. So, I mean, it's got, it's kind of low end. But just because Apple touched it, like, come on. But my point being is, there's, it's a workstation kind of graphics card, and the gaming really didn't come out. I hope this time when they release this series that we actually get some of the nice gaming coming out. Because to be honest with you, AMD does a great job with their CPUs, and so does Intel. But just AMD lately has been doing a great job with their CPUs, increasing you know the, the power and stuff in them. I feel like graphics cards could use a boost as well, so I hope to see that sometime soon. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. And of course, thank you. As I said, goodbye.